I want to show you a common issue that many Apple users encounter. How to remove an iCloud account from your iPhone, iPad, or Mac. Whether you're selling your device, giving it away, or simply need a fresh start, knowing how to properly disassociate your iCloud account is essential. Why remove your iCloud account? There are several reasons why you might want to remove your iCloud account from a device. Selling or giving away your device. It's crucial to protect your data and prevent the new owner from accessing your information. Troubleshooting issues. Sometimes iCloud syncing problems or other glitches can be resolved by removing and re-adding your account. Switching Apple IDs. If you have multiple Apple IDs, you might need to switch between them on a particular device. Privacy concerns. You might simply want to remove your account for privacy reasons, ensuring your data is not accessible on that specific device. Before we dive into the removal process, there are a couple of crucial steps to take. Back up your data. Removing your iCloud account will also remove all associated data like photos, contacts, and notes from the device. Ensure you have a backup through iCloud, iTunes, or Finder. Also, if you will not have access to that device, then all the data you have there will not be accessible on the new device. So before removing the account, please be sure to back up your data. If you do not know how to do this, check the description of the video. I have made a video on how to back up your device. Turn off Find My. Disabling Find My device is essential to prevent activation lock, which can prevent others from using the device after you've removed your account. Removing iCloud account from iPhone or iPad. Locate and tap the Settings app on your device's home screen. At the top of the Settings menu, you'll find your name and profile picture. Tap on it to access Apple ID settings. Scroll down and tap Sign Out. This will be at the very bottom of the menu. Enter your Apple ID password. You'll be prompted to enter your Apple ID password to confirm. If you did not turn off Find My Device, it will also ask for your password. In that case, after you write your password, tap on the Turn Off button from the top right. Choose Data to Keep. You'll be given the option to keep a copy of your data, like contacts and calendars, on the device. Choose what you need and tap Sign Out again. You will remove your iCloud account now. Let's talk also about some important information. Activation Lock. If you encounter an activation lock after removing your account, you'll need to enter your Apple ID and password to proceed. If you no longer have access to your credentials, you might need to contact Apple support for assistance. Device Management. If your device is managed by an organization, you might need to contact the administrator to remove your iCloud account. Two-factor authentication. If you have two-factor authentication enabled, you might be required to enter a verification code during the removal process. Alternative methods. If you're unable to access the device settings for any reason, you can also remove your iCloud account remotely through iCloud.com or by using the Find My app on another Apple device. And there you have it. Removing your iCloud account from your Apple devices is an easy process. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel for more tech tips and tricks. As always, if you have any questions or requests for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.